Hey guys, it's Kalanch here from Sean Productions with Shadowverse number four. And with me is Grandmaster Steven. Hello. The myth, the man, the legend, the guy with the supercomputer in his brain. Oh no. We're about to bop everyone online now. Because he's going to make us the best Swordcraft deck out oh, wait. there. Oh no. <laughs> so we got, a, we got a couple rupees. Oh wait, are they called rupees? Files? Files, no. These, oh, the oh, gold. Yeah, rupees, yeah. So let's open rupees. up some packs. And we got some tickets, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. Maybe you got some busted legendaries. I like how opening packs is so feel so good to just slide your mouse across the cards and then yeah. all over. I gotta... I think we could get some vials to make a legendary. Alright. I wasted a lot of them actually making <laughs> the ones I got. <laughs> Fair enough. I made a couple. I made a couple for Forest since I've been playing Forest. I like the whole box opening up. Yeah. I don't know if you know before uh, Grand Master Tier. So when you reach Master Tier, every season, so every month, you can... Uh, grind points still and get into Grand Master tier. And if you get into Grand Master tier, you get a bunch of rewards. And one of the rewards is uh, the card back for the most recent set, usually. So you get like an animated version of the card back for like Rebirth of Glory in this case for this month. That's cool. Yeah. They just glow and stuff. It's kind of cool. And they're, they don't have any like special picture though. It's just the card back. All right, Steven. This is what I've been playing with, alright? Oh my god, there's so many decks. Oh, it's just my Dragoncraft iterations. Oh, so, I don't know if you know, but the ones with the exclamation yeah, points... Yeah, I can't use them. Yeah, they, yeah. you have cards out of rotation in those. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> don't criticize me no more. I deleted all my decks right when the set came out. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah, because I, I can't use any of them anymore. I just start from scratch. I usually, and really retest like, things. since I have the space, I've been leaving them just to, like, kind of go back to and see, like, if there's any other card that... Maybe I want to use. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I got you. So this is what I've been using so far. I got three quick blader, three three of every eleven card, pretty much too. Um, I like this guy because he gets me loot cards. Yeah, which I, works with that wider. Yeah, because I've been using two of her. Um, and he's just good against like the one ones. Because mm -hmm. you pretty much have, you can't beat her with the one one. You gotta yeah. use something else. Um, Archer's cool. Jano's awesome. Yeah, Jano is cool. Um, I've been also using this as a two of. Um, deals you three. Card and yeah. deals damage. Yep. Uh, and I play two of this. Yeah, because if I maxed them out, I, it was too clunky. Um, yeah, running three and one is kind of weird. I get you. But... Yeah. Um, I had one of this. She's good. Yeah, because she also gets me loot cards when she evolves. Cause... She has that enhance evolve for free, and she can steal last words. So. Yeah, I was thinking of playing one more of her. Um, if you have, yeah, yeah. I would. I, I'm only using the temple, though, so far. Oh, okay. And uh, we got two of her. The Aether Warrior. Okay, Aether She's cool. Really good. Yeah, she she gets me a card. So. Yeah. You play her on three, she, can get, she gets you a Sky Saber. Yeah. That's um, the idea. <laughs> I've been playing two Angelic Smite, like I mentioned, off camera. Well, off stream. Because um, it just... It, I feel like it helps me. The problem with it, like I told you, if I don't have a field, it's just... It consumes my turn pretty much. Um, he's cool. He's, yeah, a lot of people run him. Yeah, like he deals one and then he gets me a loot card. Yeah, usually you'll play him on like six. That way you have the one play point for the loot card. Yeah, usually either that or just save it for yeah, Alwida. Yeah, Alwida. That's true because she synergizes with them now too. Yeah. Um, the Alwida, three, of course. Yeah. I like the animated one a lot actually. Yeah. With all the lightning. I use my uh, orb on it. Oh, oh nice. Because I was like, you know. He's got to be in rotation for a while, yeah. so that's a good call if you're going to play the deck. Um, She's interesting. I wouldn't mind taking her out, though. The card she got is okay. It's just. Support 2 is still. Yeah, yeah. That's why. I used to play her. Um, and then 2. I like him, too. He's really good. Uh, I was thinking of putting at least one more of him just to make her more active. Because, mm -hmm. like, I feel like she's not too active. Because right now my only officers are the Quick Blader and. Uh, that's... What about the 11 cards? Are the 11 cards no, officers? No, they're all 11. Oh, they're just 11? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. Um, because 
that that's the problem with her right now yeah. in the deck because she's not too active. The only way she's active is with the quick blader. That's a little awkward. I didn't know uh, that they were just by This guy, the servant, and that's why he with him, two yeah, which they're officers. Most so. uh, sword decks run three Lathams because even playing him as a two cost is still on curve. You get two one ones. Okay. So most people run three because playing him as a two isn't that bad. Plus with Aether, mm -hmm. if you play Aether on turn seven, you guarantee Latham next turn. So you can you can. That's what's good about Aether is if you know what's in your deck, you can tutor specific cards. Like El Wide is your only seven drop, so if you play yeah. Aether on six, you get El Wide. Mm -hmm. So like, okay. those are important things to remember. And that is really good. Yeah, I was playing her because I just didn't have another copy of this. Because, like, she's just, like, a backup. I mean, she has been useful. Uh, deal three to something, and then deal three to everything. Yeah. She's your um, only board wipe. She's your yeah. only, like, wide board wipe besides Ivory. Yeah, so, pretty much, this is what we've been working with. Um, That's not bad, though. Yeah, like, I feel like it's a good backbone. I just feel like it's just not too... Like, I feel like it's missing something. Okay. Um... It also kind of depends on what you go for, because the problem with uh, like Quick Blader is that being a 1-1, he's susceptible to a lot of like yeah. destruction stuff. I just found him cool because he made Alicia active. Yeah, that's and true. just most people run a gold card though instead. There's a it's a 1-1 and it has a bunch of different enhance effects. Oh, oh it's I don't... a commander though. Yeah, that's true. no, it's an officer. Oh, is it an officer? Oh, yeah, yeah. it is an officer. Um, I just don't have that. it. I wanted to use her. Um, we just don't. Yeah, yeah right, there. right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Most decks run three, especially <laughs> because of uh, Latham too. Mm -hmm. Latham gives all one cost followers uh, storm. So even if you play her as a ten cost, she's still originally a one cost, so she gets storm. Oh, okay. So she gets like what I think five or six attack and can swing face right away on top of having ward and everything else. Okay, and we also got those animated ones, so yeah. I figured. Uh... <laughs> Him. so but yeah we can try it without it i just put him in because it made uh leisha more active so all right we'll see I, what i like to do is i like to scroll through pick like the necessary cards like okay. you, you took all the 11 cards in yeah which this card's interesting too yeah king's welcome is pretty interesting i've seen people play it uh chris wants to join our call oh our is he outside sharia is uh Answer, trying Tony. to contact us you can go to the back if you want to yeah he's contacting me too Oh, he's probably calling the group he's, chat. Yeah, he's calling the group chat. Shari is somewhere. Uh, King's Welcome is pretty interesting, though. King's Welcome was what? Put a random commander in your hand and something it lowers his cost by one? If you yeah, if you can evolve. Okay, so if you do it any other turn. Yeah. After, like... So, that one's cool, too, because I think the... the it tutors your commanders, which is... Yeah. Nice. And it's a one drop. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm unsure, currently. Um... All right, I, I'd keep scrolling. I don't think any of the neutral cards are really necessary. Yeah, I've seen some people tech up one Apollo in a lot of decks, but I don't like it. I don't, I don't find him too useful because he know. just invokes himself and he's just a one two. Yeah, right. I mean the enhanced nine's okay, but that's not useful. Yeah. Um, I'd skip. Seraphic Blade is sometimes good. Depends on like the season. Servant's good. I, I'd add the servants like you had before, to be honest. Yeah, like, I feel like he's pretty cool, because he also makes uh, Alicia active. The Leo the Crescent Blade is really good, but... Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to play him, but... I mean, we can make some, and the just skip is, on Legendary. Yeah, you're missing a lot of golds, though, then, because you're also missing the one-cost gold, too, and stuff. We can make three of her? No, wait, we can make two of her. No, we can make three. Yeah, we can make three. We can make, like, three and one, I think, right? Yeah. Golds are 800, so... Yeah. Um... I didn't see anything here. Cyber either. Cannoneer is interesting. Some some people play him just because you can play him on four and he's still an on curve play. He just gives you more options. Uh, Dauntless Commander is what when the card evolves you get plus two defense and it has the enhanced seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Splendid Fencer gives plus one to an officer, but you don't have yeah. you, all elevens aren't officers apparently, so I'd skip on that. Yeah. Ivory Sword Dance is a must, I'd say. Uh, should we just keep it at three for now? Uh. Yeah, I'd put it at three for now. Okay. And skip the surfing for a while. Because I, I think Ivory Sword Dance is good because it helps with wide boards as well as tall boards. Where if you're just trying to ping something off with this uh, Blade of Reserperation eh, or whatever, uh, you can only really hit big things, otherwise it's kind of a waste on little things. Uh, I'd skip this for now. Warring Flame is sometimes good, but not always. I like this card too, but it doesn't really help the duck too much. Yeah. Now. It it's just also, kills something. Yeah. 
and it's good if you can like give it to something too like albert or something yeah that's what i was think. that's what i i don't think i used it on stream but i think on uh like off off stream i used it like those combos are like good in theory but it's also like a lot that's a turn nine play and that's a turn eight play and it's one card it's kind of like whatever and it dies to a ping of like three so it's like not amazing if you do that it's a lot of damage from hand though but yeah I don't know about it. I'm, not, I'm unsure. There, there's probably better options. I keep scrolling. We got some comments. Oh, we we got uh, oh, G, G Bakes. Bakes. That's Gary. Oh, really? Yeah, that's Gary Bakes. Oh, neat. <laughs> Hi, Gary. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing, Gary? Um, I keep scrolling for now. I definitely add the uh, Omen. Omen? Yeah, Omen of Inspiration oh, yeah. and uh, I really the like Haters her. as well. What's Phantom Assassin do? I'm not even sure. Uh, one this right. one? Oh, just me. Okay, yeah, you can skip that. Uh, Auto Blade Patroller is interesting. She's, like, really good, but she's Makana-based, so I don't think that's going to be useful. Yeah. But otherwise, she's really good for Makana-based yeah. Swordcraft deck. She's amazing for that. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing this for a bit, but I didn't... I, you need... Again, the problem was, like, it consumed a lot of... Oh, Glorious Core? I, yeah. I had a meme deck with Glorious Core. Uh, I played Glorious Core and Mangolia. Uh... You'll see Mangolia. She's a five cost when we get there. Um, I wouldn't do anything from here. Th these are what? All no Goliath? <laughs> like, what about Great Goliath? He's evolved now. <laughs> That's true. Bigger boy. Uh, I wouldn't do any of these either. Okay. Uh, Zealot of Usurpation's not bad. Yeah, I didn't try him out, but he seemed... Cause just because he has rush, so he immediately gets one. Yeah, Sky Saber is a little bit better, but like I said, Sky since all the elevens aren't, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, like I, I haven't had that much trouble making her active. I okay. I just have to hold her off a Sometimes. bit. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Like against Tony, I held her off. And even something. then, if you just evolve her, just on your own, it's not that bad. I'd still run her. I'd run okay. two of her. Um, yeah, I was thinking two max because um. Anything more, I felt it was too much. Oh, there's Mangolia. The, the card I... The one all the way on the right. I comboed with the uh, amulet. When I, I would play the amulet, and then on five I would evolve Mangolia and get really big because she puts a two and a one into play. Then they all get plus one, plus one from the amulet, and then at the end of turn you give them all plus one, plus one again. Oh, it's a I mean see. play with a lot of setup, but you, you, get a wide, you get a wide board that's pretty high statted for an evolve on a single card and setting up with the amulet but it works when it works so sometimes it doesn't work as well apostle is a uh, really good though apostle of usurpation i did all three in for now okay um sword flash panther's weird uh, i actually didn't even see him during my turn if you draw him you like reveal him he gives plus one to a random follower and then this evolves whatever Okay, I mean... Uh, a really good card you don't have here is Dragon Knights. That's an amazing card. It's very wordy, because it uh, can summon oh, up to four names. different followers. Basically, uh -huh. it summons... There's the follower, you can read him if you want. 2-5, that gains one at the end of your turn and restores three defense at the end of your turn. 5-4, that has Bane and Ward. I mean, if you think it's necessary, we could it, we can make it. It's played in all, in all uh, Swordcraft decks. And for eight, you get to choose two of those followers and summon them instead. And they're all they're all really good followers. One ha has Storm and can hit base for four. One uh, has is a five four with Bane and Ward. We can One we can definitely try it. It's it it very mind. good. Okay. I would suggest it. When was it? What set is it from? It's one of the more recent sets. I think it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure actually. You can double check if you yeah. want to be sure before you. Uh, I don't want it to get <laughs> rotated out in three months. Yeah. Uh, or four. Yeah, three months. Whatever it is. So they said um, that they're they're making uh, like the set isn't complete. Yeah. So what happens is with the new sets uh, and the last set too is they release the set and then like more than halfway into uh, more than halfway into the set. Oh, it's from Brigade of the Sky. It'll be rotating out soon. That's the next set to rotate out. Yeah. Um, but what happens is at midway through the set, more like three fourths through the set, they'll release, I believe, one new legendary for every class besides neutral, and one new uh, 
gold card for every class besides neutral. Hmm. Interesting. So they they had uh what sixteen cards. But but sometimes sometimes they don't matter. But sometimes they're game changers because sometimes it's just what a class needs. Sometimes it's useless because the class is like doing fine and they don't really want to overpower it. Hopefully they add one more eleven. <laughs> That'd be cool. Because when you summon Albert, he only summons three. Yeah. Exactly. Instead of four. I, I think that I think they're gonna wind up doing that personally. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. I feel like there needs to be more eleven support. If not. Then they'll release next set with more eleven support anyway. Yeah, like just like even like common cards wouldn't be bad just to get more field and make these guys more active. Yeah. Like um. Because the fact they're not officers, they don't really synchronize with anything but each other, and there's mm -hmm. only so many of them. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Knights is really good, but since it's rotating out, if you want to hold off on it, that makes sense. Yeah, let's see. If it's necessary, we'll just make it. I mean, three months is still three months. Yeah, it's still a decent amount of time. Yeah. If you plan on grinding with this, that, that might be a good a good investment. Yeah. Depends on how much you want to grind and how much you think you're going to grind with this deck in particular. I mean, I've been really enjoying it. Like, I feel like Swordcraft is definitely something I enjoy more than Dragoncraft. Okay. It's more like it's my more like play what style. You play. Yeah. yeah. I understand. But I, I don't know. There's something about Dragoncraft that just, that, you know. That you liked from yeah. when you started. I don't know why. <laughs> um, nothing on this page really. Uh, Zeta's sometimes good. Yeah, but... she's interesting. Like it, it's just, just the fact that she got me a storm was pretty much it. Her having rush is decent too. He's interesting too, but I don't know, like if it's that good. Uh, he just fetches something and subtracts too. I, I wouldn't. How does that work with like? this enhance would it make it seven or is it no, always it nine? still becomes nine okay his base cost would lower by two though so okay so he'd become three. three okay but you can't play him for seven yeah the, the problem with this is like if it got me like something like this you know like the apprentice or like the archer it's like it, oh well, fair because yeah oh, it's random swordcraft follower it could be it could be those yeah. yeah that's the only problem i saw with it mm. what does the uh, guy next to him do? oh mech blade soldier i'm sure he's yeah in yeah when this follower turns He's cool. I mean, his first effect is just in general, but it's just a one. I don't know how useful yeah. that is. His stats are pretty cool, though. Four, six. Yeah, he, he's pretty good stat-wise, but let, let's see what else there is. I know that you have the... Armored <laughs> Troll. <laughs> um, this guy is interesting, too. Just summon, deal two to everything. Right, Randomly, oh, and accelerate two. What the, what does he summon? He summons this, and then these have last words that get him back to my hand. He just doesn't have the accelerate anymore. What's the other one? Um, uh, one it's two. just okay. Yeah, so Bane. it's a one, and they put himself back in hand. That seems pretty good, but yeah, I, he seemed cool too. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, his fanfare is not good, but just the fact that he's a two that can be two cards and always comes back he's kind of like a uh an ultimate carrot in a way if you think about it yeah a smaller version of it yeah because it's only a one time thing because uh he comes back without accelerate so oh, i i can't without. oh okay then yeah nah. you can't spam it it's oh, okay. just uh what's yeah. master dealer uh this one you just discard your whole hand except for one card and then you draw so you redraw oh, okay magical mallet nah. essentially Oh, that's weird. Ally does for sure. Yeah. Can you click on Ally for a second? I just sure. want to remind myself. I know she randomly summons things. Yeah, she. I've never since I only have two. I normally never do the accelerate for. Okay. Um, just because they get ping so easily. Um, and I always get the non rush. I don't know if that's just my luck. <laughs> I always get the buccaneer and the marine raider. Okay. Like I've almost never used their at four. Um. The problem with her that I feel is that uh, pretty much she's only active on eight. Yeah, because you have to at least be able yeah. to play one loot card. Like, I wish. I don't know if that would have been too overpowered just to make a loot card like a zero, zero drop. For the turn. Yeah. Because they're not that amazing. They're not, but it, it would be good. And make her go off on seven, which is nicer. Like, that's how my Forest Craft work deck, deck works anyway. I have, uh, instead of relying on fairies, I add fairy wisps into hand, which are zero cost. Yeah. And I use those to get off my combo plays on turns earlier than I could. Yeah, with fairy the wisps are cool. Um. Uh, definitely late them. I tried Kakaitis for a bit, but it didn't work in the yeah, deck. Yeah, Kakaitis doesn't yeah. really work in a lot of other decks. 
Um, I, I went edger. I, I do DNA though. Okay, so we still got room for seven more uh, cards. Scroll back like one or two pages. Okay, yeah, you can keep you can scroll all the way back. All the way back to one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to do, and I like to go through again. Okay. Uh, it's nice to also see what your curve looks like at this point. So you can see you only have three three costs and two four costs. So maybe skip the one cost and stuff and go to the three costs about. Would we want to consider making her? Uh, yeah, we can consider that. We don't have. Two. Let's just see what set she came in. Okay, I think she's going out of rotation soon also? too. I think so. Dang, a lot of the good cards are going out. A lot of the good cards went out actually too. At least one of the really good legendaries for Sword went out with the last set. She's one of my favorite legendaries too. She like revived my love for Sword. For oh, minute ten. That's still. Oh, a that's while. not bad. Yeah. We can definitely make three of her if that's necessary. Yeah. It makes uh, Alicia more, because she's an officer, so. I'd do that. I, I like her because she's a curve on a lot of turns. Okay. And uh, the storm doesn't really matter unless you're playing a aggro, aggro sword, and this isn't like an aggro, aggro sword. Yeah. So you can but make yeah, that. like, see, see her stats change depending on... Uh, what turn you play her on essentially mm -hmm. so you can play her on curve as a two cost if you don't have any two costs or you can play her like on curve at, as a four cost um then let's see what other three drops there are threes yeah because we only have three right yeah there the problem is that the good three costs are legendary cards yeah that that is That's a the problem. big issue yeah because i would definitely want to play one more of aether yeah I, I would also play i would max out on o trees too Octrees too, because she's three, three of this. Too? Yeah. Okay. Her evolve gives you loot cards, which synergizes with your cards, and on top of that, if you play her, she can steal last words, and if you play her uh, as what an eight cost, I believe, you get to evolve her for free. How much have you been playing this set? This set? Because I haven't seen too much last words. Just for the the only ones that I've seen is the repair mode. Yeah, a lot of repair modes, but I mean that can still like semi counter. Yeah. It's one it. less. It's one less uh, heal. Yeah. And for Haven, that, that heal means a lot, too. Um, but even if it just... Like, it won't always steal last words, and that's fine. Because you still get that free evolve for later turns. And she yeah. gets big, too, because she enhances herself and gives herself a free What evolve. I liked... She what, becomes a 6-7. With the other deck? With Rush, essentially. Um, We we evolve a lot. Just because of this... Because oh, of Geno. Yeah, he generates so many... Of, I think when Tony, I evolve, like... Six, seven, eight times. It was oh, crazy. God. Maybe he had soups. <laughs> um, I was thinking about it. It's just we never... Well, Honestly, since, since you do have Geno, maybe Warring Flame isn't that bad as an alternative to the legendaries you're missing. Because when a card evolves, he evolves. He keeps the same stat line, but he has that Clash deal too. That's cool. So plus essentially like, he's a five. Yeah, plus like later turns, or if he's already on the field, he combo with a Sky Saber, Alessia. Cause she evolves for free too sometimes the uh cost four card so you can like you know have them both on field play a card for free evolve sky saber for free evolve warring front flame at the same time and then maybe you know evolve the card you play they do some crazy combos potentially potentially but that's like later turn that's like ideal yeah but since you do have that geno i don't know how often you said geno goes off decently well, so yeah, maybe it's just flame is a good call. the problem is that it's only with eleven cards. Um, yeah, it's just because if I play anything, like that's pretty much my turn. Like I wouldn't be able to get the because there's already four. Um, and usually, like early game, he doesn't go off because you can't evolve. Okay. Because he, he, I thought it was like you can evolve before he, like you can actually evolve, but no, you can't. Like he doesn't trigger it. That'd so. be crazy. This game would be nuts. <laughs> um, but I'd say for now, since you don't have the vials for it, really, and you don't have the legendaries, Warring Flame isn't that bad an option. Yeah, I can try them out. How many do you think? Uh, Just you three? Toss in two or three. Uh, let's toss in two, see if there's anything. Yeah. Uh, let's, um, Charlotte is not bad. Yeah, um, just getting the ward out is bad, because the only way and I get ward... Not bad too. Yeah, she prevents damage. Uh, damage. Yeah, because she gets me wards when because she gets the pirate and the viking. Yeah, the pirate has ward. Yeah, we can toss in Charlotte if you think that's necessary. Like, how big is ward right now? Um, because I haven't 
found it too useful? Just I, Against certain decks, I found it to save me, but I wish I had more wards and fours, but there's not too many. Which has, at least against Bloodcraft, a ward is important. Because okay. they're playing a lot of Storm right now, and when they get Vengeance for free, they basically just make their whole hand Storm cards that hurt you for your health. <laughs> so... Should we just toss two in? Yeah, I'd say that's not a bad option. Okay. Um, you can keep scrolling, though, maybe a little bit, see if there's anything else that pops out. I'm not seeing too much. No. Definitely not there. <laughs> All those neutral cards. I know you're yeah. running Angelic Smites. You yeah. don't really have anything like that, though. Yeah, because now there's nothing to get rid of amulets and stuff. Um, Before they had a card, they had the... I forget his name. He was a 3-cost 2-2 two, two that would add you one or two cards from hand to hand, and one of them was one that banished things. Oh, okay. Yeah, but now that you don't He's out of that. rotation? Yeah, just went out of rotation. Yeah, like, I found this... Like, although it wasn't useful every single game, when I drew it, mm -hmm. it for sure swung it in my favor. Okay. Like, against uh, Tony's deck? Yeah. With the uh, destruction in black and stuff? Since I can't destroy it, it just... It saved me, cause, or else I would just lose. Mm -hmm. But against other matchups, sometimes it's just useless, right? Um, there's... I, I don't know if maybe it's just because it was in the lower ranks. Um, I saw some... Like, Tony used one. Uh, it's a unit that its effect is only active as long as it's on the field. And its effect was he can only get damaged one at a time. Oh, it was Bloodcraft? Mm -hmm. No, right. not Bloodcraft. It was Portalcraft. Portalcraft? No, I oh. think it was a neutral, actually. Was it was neutral? Oh. Let me well, check. I can check right only now. get damaged one at a time. Yeah. The leader. Okay. So, I banished it since it said... As long as it's on the field. Yeah. So I just banished it and just won. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, I don't know. I feel like the you need those creatures, though, to keep that board presence. I feel like there's not much room. I want to see what other four costs you have besides those. Yeah, it's just the four. Right. Yeah, the two. Oh, Xion. Oh, that guy? Yeah, the big guy? Yeah, so there was no way to kill it and kill Tony. So, I had the Angelic Smite, so... I, I think it. that's okay. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Um, you you have some big creatures that can, like, potentially deal with other big creatures. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Might buy them one turn, but... It's better than running a card that's useless into some matchups. There's also been times where... <laughs> it, it's just... I guess it's so situational. But, like, I used it. And it drew me the piece I needed oh, well. to win. Because I know they get a plus one. Yeah. Well, they don't get a plus one because I banish them. They get a neutral. Yeah, you, you both know. go even. Yeah. Um, But it, it just drew me like Albert. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Because <laughs> I was just able to evolve and then attack. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't like... I tried this out, but it's too heavy, the five. Yeah, five is way too heavy. Yeah. Even though it got me two loot cards, I was like, I can't, that's my turn. The only other card that I like and think is really necessary is the Dragon Knights, but like you said, it's going out of rotation. I mean, we could just use it for if it's necessary. If you think it's if it's that good and it'll make the deck that much better. It's are, just one of those really versatile cards. Cause are you, are they officers? Uh, I think they're all commanders. Actually, they might be both. Some might be some, and some yeah, might be the other. Half, half, half yeah. Officers, half. Do yeah. I choose? Or? Yeah, you choose. So it, huh. for uh, when you play it, you'll see all four. Oh, you'll get to choose four. four. Yeah, they're or half half. It, yeah. If you think it's a, we can make one. I don't you, know how you much. You can make one and toss it in. See how it works out. Okay. Worst comes to worst, it, it's a really good card. And um, I think you'll see it at least on turn two. Should we take out a Charlotta or a I Warring a Flame? Charlotta. You can take out Charlotta. Because, like, Charlotta is just good, like normally, but Warring Flame is good in theory in this case, so we want to actually see it to see how good it is, I would okay. say. And don't forget to change those card sleeves. <laughs> I like my basics, so... Like your, look at all those card sleeves you got there, though. I mean, but none of them are sword. Oh, that's true. Oh, well, I mean, you got the Grand Blue Fantasy ones. They're kind of like... Look, Night Guy. Top left. What's his name? Uh, I can't remember. Grand, Grand Blue Fantasy 2. Oh, he's gonna be in the game, dude. He's in the Versus game. I mean, it doesn't bother you that much. <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me that much. I like the, the basic. The basic. I, I always sleeve all my cards. I mean, they're sleeved. They're just... <laughs> <laughs> they're just... 
they're just Shadowverse sleeved. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, the Shadowverse uh, promos look really cool. Alright. Now we're done with deck building with Steven, and now we're yeah. on to testing sword with Steven. Yeah, man. The supercomputer. I'm a supercomputer. Yeah, you are. You He was playing like four games at the <laughs> same time. I was doing your missions. I had to complete a Oh, no. <laughs> She's got that mo See, they got that Melissa leader. It's okay. We got Eric and me. Um, I'm thinking this. Just keeping one. Uh, yeah. You can do that. That's fine. I don't really know how good the Levin stuff is yet. Because I haven't played with it myself. Like, she's cool. Like, if we drop her right now... She's as one, too. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with their effects, but I haven't really seen too much of it. Oh, now there we go. So now we have two options. Like, we can either summon this as a 1-3 or we can get... What are the options? Just throw that up there. Yeah, the sisters are cool. So, uh, Mina, she gets me something. Okay. Random. Um, she is better later on. Just because, uh, you know, she recovers three play points. And then she's also good, but she also is later on. Too. I would probably play the spell and get her. Yeah. Mina? Okay. Yeah, because currently you don't have a two-cost play. Okay. And that's a two cost because if uh, they're gonna play a two cost right now, probably yeah. I would assume so. Unless so, that so bad what hand. So happen is, is like you play your one. Oh maybe. Oh god. <laughs> that that doo doo hand. Yeah, you, now you play that two cost, and what you get is you get another eleven saver to replace it essentially. Yeah. Yeah, it's another apprentice. That's fine. She just gets plus defense, right? Yeah. And she can if I if I enhance her, she can attack twice. Oh, oh Maki. Uh, ooh, <laughs> neat. <laughs> That's spicy, dude. Oh God. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that is indeed spicy. Um, so the only options is this or this. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, like like I said with the Aether, you know what it's gonna get you. You know if you play Aether right yeah. now, you're gonna get your second Lessia. Okay. Um, which I don't know if you want to do because having one is probably enough right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just play the Charlotta. He's just to like. Just to just as a ward. If you draw okay. a Geno, then whatever. Just means he can't attack four to face. So that's four damage. You, I'm you thinking just your, face, yeah, you right? Just attack okay. face here. There's no reason to attack the four four because if he does pull a damage card, then it's still just gonna be a four two that you have to deal with. To like, if he like pull something to blow up Charlotta. You should never half trade on your turns, unless huh. you're like setting up something. Yeah, I haven't been doing that so far. Like, so far I've only been uh, trading, like fully trading. Sword dance is interesting. Yeah. But in this case, not like. She does. Oh, well, she only gets bane. Um. I mean, we could summon an evolve. Or you could do the um the check, what was the eleven check? Uh -huh. She could attack twice. Well, yeah, but you evolve. I guess, but she's only a three. This would. No, uh, player. Player. Yeah. Oh. Evolve her. Yep, Tony's right. You are done for. She can attack twice, so you can get rid of the two two and the four two this way. Yeah, attack, it doesn't matter which one you attack first, I guess. Either way, you're gonna die. But yeah, attack that. Hmm. You're getting rid of two cards. And then, two. and then I would attack face here. Yeah, because these guys don't do much. They're weens. Yeah. Uh, you can play the other uh, 11 apprentice if you want. Just to have her on the field? Yeah. Okay. The only thing, like, she can just get like, bigger. But having her as a 1 2 is okay too. Because that's way, if he decides to go face, that can positively trade into one of the 1 2s. Uh, next turn, you have a good turn of uh, Lestia and Rapier. Ra uh, Rapier. Get that free evolve, and then you could even evolve Rapier if there's something else to trade into. Yeah. Oh my god. Card's broken. Alright, he's destroying both the cards. He might evolve to deal damage phase if he's going aggro. It's kind of late for him to go aggro. But he's gonna do it anyway. Emergency mode. You never know. Um, alright. So, you have a different option here. An option that I prefer, actually. I would play the Aether. Uh-huh. And evolve it, swing into the, uh... This? 
swing into the three three uh yeah swing into the four four sorry and then play ivory and kills the other two Steve with the big brain moves. Yeah, and this way you get your apostle for next turn. Because apostle is your commander on five. Nice. Wait, she only. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all other followers. She still lives, though, that's the point. And then you're gonna kill the rest of his cards, so he has to play something to react to your card, otherwise, he's potentially taking quarter face. Okay. You always wanna keep up your evolved follower whenever you do a board, whenever you respond to their board. Nice, we got we got that Yami Yugi going that on. Yami Yugi. <laughs> and we got Tony too. Keeping Albert right. for nine is a good play typically. Yeah. Unless unless if you're really going aggro because they're not playing anything or you just have like the broken hand. The only times I played them like, not at nine is when I have a Geno. Just to get to evolve them. Yeah, because then summoning him and Geno, free evolve, and then that's a lot of damage because he gets a plus one when he attacks. Oh yeah. So, and he has Storm, so that's six. A lot of people with old Albert, they would just play him on five, evolve him, because it's hard. He just used Ivory Sword Dance to kill your one card. <laughs> nice. And look, now you have Lesia and Rapier or Servant, even. I, I would probably play Servant, because Rapier could get better. Okay. And that's going to evolve Lesia, and then you can just swing, and then you're going to get the 1 1 with the uh, main. Yeah. What I learned is that I could evolve like another card because I didn't evolve it. it yeah. just evolved. I didn't know that. <laughs> Any effects that evolve don't take up your evolve. The one evolve. Yeah, sure. I didn't know that till it happened. I was like, I clicked on it. I was like, oh, I can oh. evolve. Broken. I thought I glitched for a second, but <laughs> then I was like, no, it's it's good. It makes sense. All right, he's getting a bunch of little weenies. Oh, Techno War. That's, that's sad, boy. Um, Does this get... No, not yet. Apostle gives you a... Uh, a loot card. Yeah. And he deals one. Yeah, so you can deal one to one of the one ones. You can evolve, hit the 6-5. And then you... It's kind of rough, but it's probably your best option. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who sh should we just deal it to him? Yeah, because you're probably going to evolve and swing it to the 6-5, right? In There's no top reason top to ping pocket. it. Down. Oh, that, that's perfect, actually. Evolve. Mm -hmm. that, that works out really well. Because what I was worried about is that you would have one life and you would only get to kill one of them. So hit the 6-5. Yep. And then you're going to heal your guy. Because you healed your guy now, he has to. Now he can't get over it. Because before he would have been at six one, and you would have just killed one. But now, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably keep Rapier just in case. Okay. Otherwise, he'll just crash into it and be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he has an eight. She has an eight. So she has a ten. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I mean, it's just plus one, plus one, plus one. But... You're getting close to that big nine turn, but next turn, look, you have Oaktris, or whatever, however you want to pronounce that. That's fine. She's gonna heal one. Whenever an ally destroys track one. Oh, okay. Now you just play Oaktris and evolve. Get that free evolve. And then next turn you have Albert on nine, which also gives you a free evolve if you get Jane, which because you're gonna get Jane. You do. Yeah. Yep. Immediately, so. Boom. Yep. And this is gonna get you two loot cards as well. Or deity. Big frame. You can attack into it, and then you can use Gilded Submit Goblet if you want, or you can hold it if you don't really want to hold it. Maybe um, you can play Servant, actually. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. That's mine. Because there's only three Leaven cards, so if one of if he kills one of your cards off here, you still get full board just from Leaven. No. Just from Albert. If he doesn't, then kind of like whatever and it depends on what he plays if, he, if you still have stuff you can trade into that doesn't matter but i'm not really too i'm not really too sure what makana has after what he's done so far yeah like i'm not i'm i had this is the first time i've seen swordcraft makana so swordcraft i feel like swordcraft makana doesn't have a good enough game plan and like end game plan there's dragon knights and he still has that five four four feels bad now. I mean, play Albert, right? 
Yeah. You just play it now anyway, because you'll get three cards, so that'll be full board. Doesn't okay. matter if you crack first. Now we can evolve something for free. So we can... Uh, actually, we... Oh, no, we can't kill it. You're close. Uh, you can. Like, well, you, yeah, you can. can but with the uh, Archer. Can't you? Archer deals two, right? Three. three. Oh, he deals three? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you can't use Golden Blade. But you're, yeah, that's you're what I was saying. You're going to have to crash something. I mean, we could crash him and yeah, get a loot that, card. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. What are you going to have to do? Because that... Okay. And you get to keep your 4-4. Four, four. And you get to attack him in face for three. Well, for four, because you get plus one, right? Mm-hmm. Immediately. Yeah. And then the one one. Mind if I do. Yeah, another Gilded Blade. That's pretty good, though. And then, yeah. Albert, swing face. Now you have this ginormal board. And if he can't deal with your Jano, you can just get another free. And even if he does, you have Albert to get him again. If he does do some crazy uh, board wipe I'm unaware of. But I don't think he can board wipe you. At most, he's probably gonna, he can get rid of, like, two cards. Okay, yeah. This is the first time we've played it, so. Yeah. Because there was that one time where I just ran out. Because I drew all three um, of, of, like, Apprentice. Either Apprentice or Archer. I if he remember. does play some, like, big thing that's hard to deal with, you do have the Archer hand again. So. Like well, Robert, like I said. Uh, she needs 11 card in hand uh, to work. Oh, okay. Yes. I'd made that misplay before. I thought it was on field. I mean... Depend. Let's see what they do. I, I think yeah. you're gonna be fine, though. I don't foresee Sword having any way to deal with a board like this with what they've played so far. The only thing I could see is a Techno Lord. Oh, another Techno Lord. Yeah. I don't know how many Makanas you've destroyed. Probably a lot. I mean. I mean, you have a lot of health though on your board too. You have a four four and a what three five. I don't remember which, but I think the Techno Lord just wiped this field exactly. You killed like nine. You can check. Yeah, 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 go back. I can tell you. Oh, oh. oh he's a stampeding fortress. Oh, weenies. Oh, no. Big, he's big, but the rest of the board is weenies. He's probably uh, either attack. Wait, welcome. He doesn't have two in hand. Oh, he does not have two for in hand. He just went for the big play. Jeez, okay. I mean, this is what. Three seven. Um, Chris is yeah, but you, you do got to deal with the nine four two, right? Why? I could just win. Can you four five six seven? With Albert, yes, star. That's eleven. Oh no! If you evolve, evolve. one two, yeah, you're right. That's game, right? Yep, that's game. You won. Yeah. Eh, evolve for free. Yeah, man. You've proven your point, actually. So. Hey. We win. So a new Albert is kind of reminiscent of an older legendary that got rotated out. Actually, got nerfed way late into the expansion, and then got rotated out, and then got unnerfed after it got rotated out. But it was a seven cost that summoned a random two cost from your deck with different names. Ooh. But it was a seven cost, and it was like a three six or something like that. Okay. But it summoned random two costs, so you ran like. A a bunch. Twelve, like two cost oh, lineup. Oh, I, I know, I know. And him. He ran like a ward. He ran like a rush. He ran. Was he Arthur? Yeah, he was Arthur. Yeah. Yeah, he was really good. Hey, Sharia, how's it going? Hey, what's hey. up? I like your shirt, Sharia. Hey, it's Kirby. Oh, no. It's the Curbster. It's Curbster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. The two. Yeah. yeah. You know, just like whenever I play this game, I get curbs. Oh, ooh, that curve. I don't know how good Rapier is early into i'm April worried level. about this yeah yeah i mean we'll see what they're playing this this is low ranks too so no. well like i said i ran into like in beginner i ran into them back to back this means you never know yeah i guess right yeah why not i i personally don't like playing one cost when i'm going second really yeah because the odds are they're gonna play a two cost that has two health and then they can immediately just attack into it. See, they, they can next turn they can just attack into it for a free trade, and then can still trade into a two-two that you're about to play. Okay. Now, that's why usually I don't like like you have to play the eleven archer here, hmm. and then attack face because you're not gonna attack the two-two, right? He's gonna probably attack the one-one with his two-two, and then next turn he can still trade the two-two into your two-two. That's why I don't like hmm. playing ones on turn two. If you're going aggro, then like. Play quick bladers on turn and hope to go. Oh, unless they want to do that. 
They, they, they could have done that better, but... I mean, you gotta play the Aether. This is still, like, they still have trades into both your units, which is kind of blows, but you gotta play the Aether anyway, right? Because Ivory wins. Yeah, attack base. Because you don't want to have trade. Let them attack into your things if they have to. They might just go face, though, because they have the three attack, but with what they just did, I doubt it. I doubt they're gonna go face. After attacking into the 2 2. Robo Falcon. Okay. Interesting. With no Makana on board. It's the big brain. The big, the the big combo. Mm -hmm. He might have something funny to bring back. Could be a genuinely new Yeah, he, he's not. Oh, wait, he doesn't have Rush? I think he's a genuinely new player, actually. Uh, I'd do Alina. Okay. I've never really done it. Yep. Never get the Rush. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> It's my luck. So that one um, has drain. Yeah. Uh, what's their last word? Uh, it gets me a, a specific loot oh. card. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. The so one this on one right... gets me the one that restores. It and has this one is the one that deals. Attacks and you follow or deal one damage that follow the three two. I'd evolve that. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then attack into the three one. It will deal one before battle happens. So you'll still be at four four. Yeah, you, know, you just killed it without losing anything, and then that hits base because the one three doesn't matter. Yeah, that's still pretty good. I like how wide. It's like random, which kind of blows, but the cards it gives you are still generally good. Uh, and there it is. The uh, swordcraft has always followed like a army in a can kind of strategy, where they have one card that equals two followers. This is the broken. This is the broken. Unless he has nothing to heal. There it is. Wow. That falcon dude. This is the broken, as they say. Well, he's not gonna heal anymore this turn, which means you killed it boy that uh that mutt. Or um hmm. This also deals one. Yeah, that's true too, actually. Uh, I was also thinking you could Lessia and Rapier Master here, too. Yeah. What do you think is better? What, uh... Hmm. I'm just trying to think what your final board will be. Well, if I do this, I can kill that and evolve to... This doesn't have... Oh, this has be. pain. Yeah. Um... That kills that. That kills that. Yeah, I, I would Lessia and Rapier Master here. And then you're gonna have to use your evolve as well. And then your one three is gonna crash into the five one. Okay, so this? Yeah. five five hits the two three because the other one has bane, which kind of blows. So you're gonna evolve your rapier master to hit it, okay. just so he doesn't get rid of your card. Now he has to react. And it still keeps your bane card, so that can deal with any follower he plays unless he pings it. And then you, you still have the five three two. I haven't seen them play too many like destruction, like deal damage, damage cards. Yeah. Mainly, it's just they, they have a really good uh, basic card. Oh, okay, Dale off. Dale off Phil is annoying. A lot of Dale off Phil is crazy, actually. Okay, he's just not even gonna do anything. This is actually really good for you. Uh, the fact he didn't do anything there is not. See, he's taken a bet here that you're not gonna be able to deal with it, which is. Or bet to Wait, isn't bane. it just yeah? Isn't that just a bane? Yeah. So I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, just attack with it. Because you, you summon another one when you attack anyway, right? So yeah. instead of wasting resources, yeah, do that. Attack him for five and he had another one. That was that was actually done. And then here here's probably a good turn to Albert actually. Albert? Yeah. Do the Albert early. Um, and evolve it hit face maybe. Wait, does Albert get any effect when you have more living in hand? No. no. Okay. He only Albert. gets it when I have more. At this point, you can push for aggro and put him on a timer really bad if you play Albert Evolve, because you're hitting face for six. Five. Does he get plus one when he attacks? Oh, it's only if you... I have 11. Oh, okay. That's fine. All ends here. Well, you can do that 11 still, still, put him to nine, and then you have a five seven and a use Gilded Goblet to heal the other one by two. You have a five five and a five seven he has to do. Yeah, and next time we could Love and Sisters, because it'll be yeah, the Enhance, 
and it gives yep. us six play points. So it's pretty much like it's a one cost. Plus, like, if and you can summon all of them too. He played bow. This guy's good. He is really good, but the problem is he played him, and he's gonna have to crash or do something. Because yes, he, he still has to attack into something unless if he can heal. This would be three the three more times. Which maybe he can. If he heals one more time, that's a problem. This card's nuts. <laughs> Mega nut. Yeah, okay. Your Albert lives. Um, um Probably the Love and Sisters. You, you wanna see their effects again? Yeah, go ahead. Oh well this is just gonna activate actually. Oh. Cause because you get all, so there is no choice to make a random love and follower. Yeah. So if we do it in the right order, if we do this into mana into Mina, we can play them all. Okay. So yeah, do that. Mina gets a uh, rush, right? Yes. And she gets plus one. Okay, so she can kill that then. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's perfect. And then hit phase again. Five. Six. Six now, yeah. See, so you're outpacing and putting him on a timer. So you have more cards than him. He, he gets really tall, but if you're dealing with it anyway and you have things that he has to trade into, then he's still at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Kel's gonna Blow heal up. him and blow up uh oh he's gonna kill two of your cards you're still gonna have your three three because at the end of turn he's gonna heal two with day left hill well that's fine because you can deal with cal easy and almost kill him oh jano too that's really good actually you can almost kill him right now uh uh so i put so that card's 11 that you have on board right yes I'd probably Geno, Evolve, Ivory Sword, Enhanced. So, summon this, Evolve this, Ivory Sword. Enhanced to give it plus two, plus two, and deal, and kill Kel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Geno's just really good. Especially late game. He's awesome. Yep. And now, you know, oh god, and you're gonna hit him for seven. So he's, now he, now he's really gonna die. All you need is uh, anything with storm. Well, actually, we have game if we live, cause this guy can deal. Oh yeah. One. Well, well uh, he turns. heals, right? Yeah, he could heal. Oh. And this is whatever. Just one. He, he could still only get rid of one, unless if he has other cards. He's just buying time at this point. You just try and live, but you have apostles, so you can potentially just. How does he heal with the uh, day left? Uh, uh, just at the end of his turn, just always. Oh, okay. It's fine though. You have apostle. You can deal one face hit for two. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Gilded blade did give you rush. No, gilded, gilded blade deals one, deals one to, to yeah. The other option was if things did get sour, you had aether. Aether would have gone new DNA. We could play for ten to do three times. Tax twice and it has three. So you had options even if things went sour, or you could play double apostle turn, which could do some stuff. Was all mine. Two big bodies, seven match win streak, dude. Yeah, man. You were already winning before I was here. I was. <laughs> that other, the other duck did pretty good. It's How do you just, like this one so far? So far, it's pretty good, especially with I see a big difference with the rapier master, mm -hmm. because I mean I do like the the quick blader but um it's just the one damage mm. so i don't know how effective that was you must die. Yeah. I, in aggro so that mash wound up going more aggro that's the good thing with like mid-range sword decks is sometimes with certain hands you can be an aggro sword deck uh yeah right yep okay servant's only bad against cal but and like i said you're going second so i probably wouldn't play the rapier master that guy made a mistake he could have swung positively twice into your units yeah, I just made a mistake and just uh, summoned it. I mean, that's me though. Some people would still summon it, but I, I prefer to hold it. Yeah, and it makes her. Well, yeah, it too. works with Lesia too. We got plays. Um, yeah, because if you had Rapier Master on the field and then you played Servant, he would just attack into Rapier Master. At least that's what I would have done, but 
Yeah, I play Surgeon. That's mine. Is there a goblin deck? Uh, there are a lot of goblin cards you could, but not in I face two too or much. three goblin decks. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> a lot of decks have a uh, three cost, two, three with Lord, which cause problems for Because they're, they're good for curve. Like, if you had one right now, it'd be really good. You have Aether, though, which is like, whatever. Sh should, well, I mean, it just got so slow. Uh, you could risk something if you really want to attack with your uh, servant. Just get like a, a, a loot card that well, deals damage? Well, yeah, if you get that one, for instance, you can uh, ping it and then summon another servant, or you could just play Aether and be safe, because who knows, you might get shit. Sure. It is up to you. You might get shit, though, so like... I mean, what else we got, though? Playing Aether would be the safer play, but we just get you another last year. But I mean, at the end of the day, they're just going to kill you, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do. <laughs> sometimes it pays off. Let's do it. What are we gonna do? Oh, Tablet. Yeah. But, That's sad. Um, I mean. You could heal yourself for two and play Servant, or just play Aether. Like, was the original plan. One or the other. Or you could play Raider and Master 2, but. Nah. Aether's just like, why not? Okay. Duck then. Yeah, this is fine, actually. The way I see it, next turn you're probably gonna play Les play Alessia Evolved, and then next turn you're gonna play Alessia Rapier. Sonya's broken, dude. Oh yeah, this I is can't fine target though. Her. You, you got good trades. Yeah, just play the Alessia Evolved. Fear and despair are no Alessia enemies. easily hits the four four, and the other one trades into the two one positively. You're done for. I'll still have the 2-2 two -two to deal with Valesia, but then you still have the Bane to just hit whatever happens. Yeah. Oh, hands are tied. <laughs> He's so slippery. Uh, I mean, that's a good field. Yeah. I think Kel is a 6 cost, so I think you're safe from Kel. Also, if I'm wrong, it's still a fairly new set, and I haven't played Haven yet. Maybe he just doesn't have the broken. Oh no, Kel's a 4 cost. That card's broken, dude. Ban this card. Nerf this card, man. Uh, Kel is actually insane. Let's see. Should we do the, the Lessia play? Yeah, I think that's the play. It's free. Fear and despair are no match for me. He can, he, if he has another one, though, he can do the exact same thing again. If do. he doesn't, then you know, you're good. If you really want, you can evolve to kill the goblin. It gives him a repair mode, though. Yeah. How, Kel does it only when he heals, right? Uh, yeah. He can evolve it and then he heals at the end of his turn. Immediately? Mm -hmm. It's at the end of his turn, but either way, it would still blow up your whole field at that rate. I don't but know. if what? you don't evolve into it, he can also just trade his goblin. Like you said, you were worried about the repair mode. He could just trade it then if he really um. wants it. And he can kill your Lessia, too. Who's a 5-1, which would kind of blow. But so we just evolved the... I'd say so. You're, you're betting on if he has another cow. If he does, then that really, really blows. If he doesn't, then he has to do something weird to get around your stuff. Because I think that's their only, like, pinging source. But if he has it, pings are all board. Oh, he no. he, he could still broken. have it because it's a 4 cost. You know? But if he does, I don't think he heals. I think it only heals if he Broken. So maybe not. Yeah, maybe this was the play. Wait, why didn't you evolve the one with oh, playing black and scripture? Oh, okay. Because it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> Bane can just trade as a one-one into anything anyway. So and so my, they're like more likely to try to get rid of it, and if they don't, then they can swing into whatever. Um. Does this do anything? You know this card better than me. Uh, you can set up a big boy if you want with it. Uh, yeah, do it. Because you know the only other one. way to get rid of it is to. Honestly, you know what you could do? Just play Left Saber. And attack into it. It lives, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then you still have the other one for turn nine if you want. And yeah, if you really want, you can goblet it or yourself to 
increased life. Unless you want to save it for loot cards. Yeah, like, see? Uh, that's, if it's a free trade, it's a free trade, and you don't have to use your evolve. Okay. And you can goblet it if you really want, or you can goblet yourself if you really want, because uh, you have the I kind of want to save it, because I feel like... How white am I going to come yeah. up or something? Or, uh, Apostle. Yeah. Yeah, so save this way you didn't use your evolve because Dragon Knights is really good on eight because that's when you get to summon two cards. Yeah, he had another cap. <laughs> and he's got a repair mode. He's running out of cards though. I wasn't enough. Hmm. Draw two cards. Oh. What? Your leader and followers can't be played, so he can't play any more. Until the start of your opponent's turn. So next turn he won't be able. He's gonna draw two cards, but not gonna be able to summon any creatures next turn. Only play like amulets and spells. Um. What do you think? Because we can evolve Albert for free, but then. Oh yeah, that's true. I'd do that. Yeah. Yeah, evolve Albert for free, and I would uh, hit Cal. Yeah. Instead of attacking pace. Yeah. yeah, I'd do that. 100%. Because the idea here is you're going to get keep your evolve. You can't play followers next turn to deal with Albert, and he's not playing. They're not playing much removal Haven right now. Besides, like, Kelp. And besides, like, followers that remove. So he's not going to be able to do much. So you're still going to get a free turn potentially to swing into him and a second free evolve one of your 11 cards. Either that or you play Dragon Knight. Depends on what he draws, though. Who knows? Maybe he drew some broken removal cards. Nope, he just ended turn. <laughs> oh, Latham's also mega free here, too. Um, you know this card better than me. Would this be better? I'd play Latham. Latham. Latham's a big body, and uh, he sets up more damage. Huh? He gives your leader the effect that whenever one of your cards attacks... If, if you I don't have a knight, you summon he, a knight. Yeah, and they cool. all have Storm. Well, uh, one cost have Storm now. Three. Boom. Onward. Wow. No. No one gets past me. No. Nice. Uh, you don't know, but with Dragon Knights, uh, Dragon Knights, you have the potential to deal with your evolve six out of hand right now, and he's at ten on it. So we. The, the, the problem with Latham is he's such a tall body. You're gonna have problems getting over him. He only has. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he has an evolve. That's gonna get big. Are oh, you gonna attack this and just. This is random? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, almost all cards like that have Death Rattle and stuff. Not Death Rattle, uh, Last Words is random. Death Rattle is a Hearthstone term for the same thing. So he can kill both of your big cards here, which kind of blows. But, but he has to give both of his big cards up to Ooh, you left your strongest card on the feet. <laughs> My knight. Um. Probably. Right? Yeah, I play Dragon Knights. So now you got choices. Uh. Um. Uh, uh. So two cards are like generically good, and then the other two cards get effects based on the other one you choose. That's so how it works. So which one? So Siegfried works with Percival, and Lancelot works with the other guy. So I guess we should go for go first. Percival and Siegfried, right? Yeah, you can do that. Because he gets rushed. Yeah, yeah. And then the 5-4 hits into the 3-3 three, three for three. And he also gets a tackle. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and you have a 5-4 with Lord and Bane on top of it, that's what I'm saying. You can also kill him. Yeah, just head for the one. No! You could heal it up if you want to try to protect it more. It's too... Yeah, because right now he's in cow range. Yeah. So he doesn't have too many... I think he has, what, one cow left? Yeah, because he yeah. played two, so... But still... If he still has enough heal cards, he can still kill it. He has three heal cards, but... But he'd have to use... He'd have to use three heal cards. Yeah. <laughs> General Lana is not... Oh, oh yeah, because he ran out of walls. He has two wards. This is easy to the goblins! Oh, they're getting bigger though. Um. This is fine. Geno. Oh, you have Geno and Archer, right? 
Yeah, that would deal three. That would win the game. Get rid of both awards. You get rid of both awards with just that play. Okay. Because Jeno loves Archer. Archer hits three to Alana and then hits the other one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. There you go. I think we could do one more and then call it a, a stream. I've acquired knowledge. Ooh, 400 temporary gems. The pleasure was all mine. You like the Dragon Knights? Yeah, man. I'm broke. No wonder it's getting rotated out. <laughs> <laughs> that just means they have to get good support next set. <laughs> if they're rotating out the good cards, that means they have to replace them with good cards. I just want more love and stuff. I'm sure they will. I, I am most certain that either the legendary or the uh, gold that they're gonna release, uh, like three fourths through the set, will be at least one eleven. And then yeah, next set, I don't see why they wouldn't make more eleven stuff. That seems silly if they didn't. Yeah, like I feel like one or two more would be cool. Um, I also just like the like brand, I guess, because Albert's like a really cool card. I'm thinking this. Yeah, uh, rotating ivory's not bad. Because we can keep a Geno, and this gets us the Yeah, lineup. that can get you whatever. What's good about Meet the Loving Sisters is it can replace whatever you're missing on curve. You might be even... You might be able to do some cool stuff, maybe. Who knows? I'm just surprised we keep seeing the same ducks over and over. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the three class two again? Oh, it needs the love and to get her oh, heart. Is it in play? It gets one. Yeah. Um, I'd take it. This? Uh, yeah. Why not? Okay. I've never done that before. It gives you a turn three play. Because your curve is, you have a bunch of twos. <laughs> twos and you have the one rapier master. Okay. Who can't cover turn three play. She covers only even turns. Is all her enhances. So the idea here... Mm -hmm. is you play one of your 11 cards. If he doesn't trade into it, you play uh, the Duelist and get that free trade. So either play the Archer or Gino. Probably play the Archer. Yeah, I feel like she's less... Uh... Yeah, less relevant at the time. Yeah. And now, he might, since it's Blood, he might go straight face, which is ideal for you, because then you play Duelist and get that free trade. Hmm. If he doesn't, you still- okay, he's gonna kill it. Kill it anyway. That's fine. It's still a turn three play. Kinda blows now, though. I mean, I could just get the You could the get the two one. cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want. That's not a bad idea, either. Go for it. Cause that could possibly trade into your 3-2 anyway. Yeah, and then play it. Got Albert. Oh. No. Well, like Gina's not bad. Does that mean you can evolve three? No. <laughs> no. Broken? The broke. As long as I don't click evolve, I can evolve as many times as I want. Like Gino, Gino, evolve Gino. <laughs> no, I can't. No. It says. Oh. Oh no! It's the name. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Play Rapier Master. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And evolve and swing it. Look at that three three with biting. I can't believe they had two things to ping your stuff. But this this way you're in turn five is Gino Mena of free evolve on Mena. Plus she gets enhanced. Interesting. Gotta, you just gotta add your numbers. Add your costs for your combos. Ooh, I hate Medusa. Medusa's so good. Hey. Let's see what she does. Does he evolve? Okay. If he didn't evolve into Crash, you would have been super set. Potentially. If he gives one of them Ward and one of them Bane, and have him give the same one both. So that Mega blows. Um. So screw that other play I said. Uh, you're probably gonna Apostle ping the one that has Ward and Bane, and then evolve and hit Medusa. Because Medusa gives them at the end of their turn no matter what. So. Yo, I got those boots. <laughs> those boots. Because you don't want Medusa to give that <laughs> serpent warden band again. That'd be sad. Got those quick feet. <laughs> and now you got 6-5, man. He has the 
fair amount of damage to you because he had those cheap, cheap removal. But he's a big card for a five cost. Well, he's a bonus. Yeah. What she do? Uh, Evolve has Storm. Uh, oh, he didn't even do anything. Wait, that's super neat. You could Ivory Sword Dance if you upgrade it if you want. I mean, that's not bad. It gets rid of everything. It gets rid of everything, and you hit his face for eight. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. Look upon the ultimate in swordsmanship. I'll remember yeah, your name. for eight. I believe uh, this belongs to me. Play right here if you really want here. Um, I kind of want to save it because okay. now we're active for Alicia. All right. Besides, uh, if you save for next turn, you get in the top line and have the ward. Yeah, we could also just play it. Yeah, you know. for other effects. Oh, no. Just destroying your father, and then... Oh, God. Yeah. He actually, uh, just lost. Oh, no, Ooh. he did just lose. Oh, yeah, he did. You drew Albert. He did just lose. Play <laughs> Albert Evolve. You win. <laughs> okay. Cool. At eight, he would... Uh, yeah, you, he lost anyway. Dragon Knights could make a three card, three attack card with a storm anyway. So, yeah, he lost anyway. Dragon Knights was the win anyway. Either way. Yep. Your strength is we were fools. We should summon Geno. <laughs> yeah, evolve for free. Yeah. We're bad. Nice. Yeah. That was cool. I like the duck. Thank you, Steven. We got those big brain moves. We didn't lose to anyone. Moves. Even the broken. <laughs> we faced the broken twice. You gotta do that math, dude. That, that's You should see the ones I play in my rank. Oh, God. They move so much faster, dude. Well, I like my D1 rank. <laughs> As of now. Well, when they evolve on their evolve turn with Alana, they already get like a 5-6 out and stuff. I'm like, oh my god. That happened to me, though. I was surprised. Yeah, we got that one pack. Man. Let's do Z it. Do it now? Alright. Gotta get that re-zero leader, my guy. Ugh. I've not... Legendaries. I want to. I haven't got one in a while. It can happen. Nope. I think the most I've ever gotten was three in one pack. We can make more vials. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's always nice. I've I've opened this this pack so much that I think I have every single card except for legendary. You're probably missing a bunch of golds. Really? Uh, golds are fairly rare. If you create card you can go to golds to create cards, see exactly if how much you're missing if you're missing any. Oh maybe you're not. Sorry? You at least have one of each. I got animated. Yeah, the animated Kells are really cool. Yeah. He's, uh, especially because he's such a good card. Look at that. Yeah. Erd's cool too. Erd is cool. They're, old Erd used to be just... This Erd's so weird. They yeah. wanted her so weird too. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. What I wanted to do before with the Erd, when I saw it, before I saw it wasn't in rotation, was with that one guy that I told you about. Um, That I wanted to use... This guy. So attack, lower two things, and then summon the summon him again, and then the Erd. Something. Yeah, and then attack. I Erd got... used to have some silly plays with storm cards. Hmm. Well, old uh, that too. Old Fort, I believe, was a seven. Uh, no, old Fort, right there, six cost. Yeah. So five one with storm. <laughs> On turn ten, you could do ten damage potentially, but that, that's a silly combo. But she, what she really was used for was she was used with old uh, Shadowcraft cards, things with uh, last words. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, she she was played in some Shadowcraft decks back in the day. One of the uh, Shadowcraft's first legendaries was one that just summoned random cards from your deck with different costs to the mm -hmm. field and then destroyed them all, and that was that was its effect. Damn. But some of the last words effects back then were crazy. There was Mordecai, who was an A cost five five, whose last words was summon himself. So, Mordecai. Yeah, you used to just play your curve out, so you would guarantee a Mordecai. So your legendary would get you a Mordecai on top of a bunch of other crazy things. Yo, that's so sick. Yeah, man. It's such a good way to use the, the orb. Yeah. Old Leaven Saver is cool, too. Alright, guys. I think that's the stream. We gotta go eat dinner <laughs> with the birthday boy. I'm the birthday boy. Yeah. I'm the birthday boy. <laughs> Well, it was my birthday yesterday. But Still. Now now I see you guys. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so, 
For anybody interested in the card fight Vanguard, because I got a comment on it, we are doing uh, videos on it. It's just we didn't get the last three sets. So <laughs> rip us, but we do have the other ones. So uh, we're good. And I have updated some of the decks. So we're also good on that. So probably next week we could just stream some card fights. Sounds good. Or if we feel up to it after dinner, we could do that. Ooh, a couple games, right. but I don't know about that. No <laughs> promises on that. We already did a stream today. <laughs> All right, guys. JC Conge and Steven and Tony. He didn't. He barely talked today. I didn't want to mess with the stream. He was petting the dog the whole time. He didn't want to mess with the supercomputer. And then we got the Lake Shari. Was talking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was like, oh, he's doing. He's staring in the space. <laughs> Oh, I know about this game, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's why he's a super computer. Yeah, know. man. The myth, the man, the legend. Grandmaster Steven here. I'm not Grandmaster, though. You're Steven, dude. But my deck, man. Yo, you want to see mine? Because my deck is your deck. Oh. That's the deck yeah. I've been playing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> We're out. See you on the next one. Stream number five next. All right. All right. Bye. bye.